everybody, today I'll be showing you how to customize your iPad with the new iOS 14 feature. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give this video a huge thumbs up. Now, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you these widgets. Before you do anything, make sure iOS 14 is downloaded or, or your software is updated. So download Widgetsmith and I'm going to create a small wi widget for example. For the example, you can create medium and big. So you can like put like the day, the month, the time, or you can add a photo. You can do anything, or well, almost anything. And I'm going to do the day and the date. Okay, and you can pick your aesthetic and theme. And I'm going to go for powder because that's the theme that matches with me. And the way I want my aesthetic to be. And as you can see, it's saved. So I'm just going to go out. And I'm going to go scroll down and press customize. Press the plus button in the left, top left corner. Scroll all the way down to widget smith. And add a small widget because I'm adding a small widget. And I'm going to tap it because that's not the one I want. Oops, wrong one. There. And I'm going to tap it again and then pick the one I want. And then it'll be, yeah, there we go. Now I'll be ready. And that's pretty much how you make a widget. And you can also stack widgets so you can like put a widget on top of another one. But I think so you can do it for the same size. So next I'm going to teach you how to make the app covers. So you have to go to shortcuts. And as you can see. I already have a bunch of these shortcuts from the apps I have and I'm just going to search up open app and make sure you search up open app and not open apps otherwise it won't come. So I'm going to pick choose and I'm going to pick bitmoji for my example and next when you shortcut a one click the dot 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 and click add to home screen and then choose a little icon over there and pick pick um take a photo from not take a photo pick a photo and then you can name it and I got this fonts app that I'm going to use to name it you don't have to but I did just to make it more my vibe and you don't have to just remember and this is optional and I'm going to pick one of what I want and type in bitmoji okay that moon's pretty I'm going to go for outline bitmoji and I think I spelled it wrong. Yeah, Mr. O. There. Add. And it'll show add it to home screen. You press done. And then, oops, my ear was full. I'm going to go to put emoji. I'm just going to click it because it's the same picture as my background. But as you can see, my bit emoji is over there. But you have to remember to not delete the actual app, but to just keep it in a separate little area on the next screen. On the, back, on the next slide because um, if you delete it all the data will be gone so this is the end of today's video and before you leave hit the subscribe button turn on notification and give this video a huge thumbs up okay you guys so that's how you use your customize your iPad for a new iOS 14 feature see you guys next time bye